So welcome to the first tutorial in WordPress theme development. Uh, in this series, the title says that all oh, we're going to be creating a WordPress theme. So we're going to be turning the site that you see in front of you into a fully compatible WordPress theme. So I'm not going to actually show you how to design this site. It's all built on Bootstrap 3. So a lot of you asked for that. It's all built on Bootstrap 3 and I'll just be putting all of the source files in the description below for you to download. So I'll give you the download for the main site and it's just HTML and CSS form and JavaScript and I'll be showing you how to turn that into WordPress. Uh, okay so it's pretty much what you see in front of you. It's similar-ish to the text site that I showed you how to build with Bootstrap 3 except I made a, quite a few modifications, well I pretty much changed it all to make it more WordPress friendly if you get what I mean. So what we have here is the Jumbotron is going to show the latest post and that is put up here automatically um, and then we've also got a list of posts in there all sorts of categories uh, I think this lists 10 posts but you can change that in the WordPress settings and then along the side here it's going to automatically fill out all of the categories that have posts in them so if you have a category with no posts in it it's not going to show up here so I can sort through these categories and I can see this is in guides and tutorials so it's showing me this one if I go into uncategorized it shows me this one. So I can also, if I go into guides and tutorials, I can also click on this and that brings up the article page. And this is all done uh, dynamically with WordPress. So along the side here, you can also see the f five latest, sorry, six latest posts to WordPress, again, done automatically, and they are all listed on the side here. Um, what else is there to show? Okay, so if I go back to the home page, uh, this also links directly there as well. We've also got an about page up here, which can be edited in WordPress in our dashboard. So if I go into here, pages, all pages, my site is a bit slow. Um, and I go about us, here is the page here, and that can be edited in WordPress and the changes will be reflected out here. So that's pretty much it for the site. Um, so yeah, so what you're gonna need to get started is you're either going to need PHP hosting somewhere or you're going to need uh, a local host so if you're using a local host if you want to just run this on your local computer you I would suggest getting WAMP server or XMPP uh, I prefer WAMP it's just what I've always used never used XAMPP before but either one should be fine uh, I'm not going to show you how to install it because that would just take time but if you've ever installed a program in your life you should be able to do it fine um, if, you, if you're hosting it somewhere online, so with, I don't know, GoDaddy, DreamHost, HostGator, any of those companies, uh, they often have auto-installers to install WordPress. So that makes it really easy to install, and you just literally click a button and they'll do the work. Though, if they don't give you that, or if you're using localhost, you'll need to head to WordPress.org, and you'll need to download it here and then go download WordPress 3.7.1, that's the current version. This tutorial series is supported for this version. Uh, it'll probably be backwards compatible as well quite far, and hopefully it'll be forwards compatible, if that's the thing. Uh, okay, so you just open this up literally, and you just need to extract this and put it in the root directory of your site. And then you go to your site, and it will give you like um, a really easy install process. If you want me to make a video on how to install WordPress, I can do, just ask for it in the comments. Uh, so this tutorial series kind of assumes that you already have WordPress installed, you just want to make a theme for it. Uh, so as I said, if you want a series on how to install WordPress, by all means ask for it in the comments. Um, so what you're looking at right now is FileZilla, which is my FTP client, connected to my server, which is hosted with DreamHost. And this is basically the root directory of where WordPress is, is installed. So we've got all these bunch of files here that do things. And we've also got these three folders, WP includes, content, and admin. The one we're interested in is content. This is going to have our theme in it, and then the folder themes. And inside here, I have four folders. You should have two at the current version. We've got 2012 and 2013, which come with WordPress. They, those are like the default themes. You've also got Bootstrap, which is the one, the example one, which I just showed you being used. This is what we're going to be creating. And I've also got this one. It's called Blank Slate. Now, normally what you would do is you'd edit directly into this Blank Slate to make your life easier, supposedly. 
but I find that this just complicates things as you've got to read through their code and understand it and I like to do coding well I, my code practices are quite different to some other people's so that is why I don't really like editing it directly so but what I do use this for is let's have a look here we can go into entry.php view edit and here it is this is uh, their code I like to look in here and I can sort of pick out functions and stuff so I know what to use in mine so although I don't edit directly into this I still make quite good use of it so I'm just going to close Sublime by the way I'm using Sublime Text 2 now uh, a lot of you asked for it before I finally got it so yep Okay, so heading back into here, what we're going to do is we're going to create a directory and we're going to call this uh, my theme. Uh, WordPress themes generally, well, they need to have no spaces in uh, as some browsers and servers and things mess up with that. So put no space in it just to be safe. Now in here, what we're going to do is going to create a couple of files. The first one is style.css. This is going to contain some information about WordPress, about our theme as well as our styling. So we're going to create a new file as well called index.php uh, header.php and footer.php So essentially what this is, header is going to contain everything like the header of the page, everything that's going to be reused at the top and the footer is going to be the complete opposite just at the bottom. And then this index.php is going to put everything together. And then style.css, as I explained, can contain our styles and our uh, WordPress information. Now it's important that you do not put these in files inside folders. WordPress won't understand it. They've all got to be loose outside here. So the first thing we're going to do is open up our style.css file. So first what we need to do is add the information for WordPress to read about our theme. And this is done in, inside of CSS comments, which are like that. And in here, what we're going to put is theme, name, and take note of my capitalization and spacing, and get rid of the semicolon. And here, I'm just going to put uh, BS3 theme, like that. Then theme URI, which is basically where can your, where can your theme be down, downloaded from. It doesn't really matter what you put this as if, you, if it's just for yourself. I'm just going to put coders-guy.com. Then we've got to put a description, which again, same styling, and I'm just going to put my bootstrap 3 responsive theme. Next thing is the version, which is going to be 1, since this is the first version of it. Author, I'm going to put Neil Rowe, and then author URI. And then set this to just your website, it doesn't really matter. And we're going to put codersguide.com again. Just like that. So now save that. And we can minimize this. Uh, in FileZilla, I need to actually go and press yes every time to upload the changes. But I'll probably cut those out in the future. Alright, so what we want to do is head into our site. And what I'm going to do is go into my admin, which can be accessed at uh, the root directory for slash wp admin. And then what we do is go to appearance, themes, and then here you should see BS3 theme or whatever you called it. That's my blank slate from earlier. And currently I've got installed tutorial theme, but I'm going to activate this one. So just hit activate and then visit the site and there's nothing there. And that is what we want because there's nothing in our files. So we're, we're going to start working on that in the next tutorial, but I'm going to end it off here as we're already quite far into the tutorial, into the time. So uh, yeah, so thank you for watching, don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.